to try like yeah, you see if I, you can just continue right here. I don't know how you. Yeah, I'm recording. I don't know. Now. I, I'm trying to think of how do I unless I try to do it. Can I record it too again? No. Nah, should I try press it. record? No, no, no. Because just, you, you already don't have any space, so uh, that means you. you oh, you, so that's all. Oh, it's blocked on my side. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you don't have the space on your hard drive, but he's recording uh, for his. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, Trey, Trey, man, he's a he's a big big. Uh, he really runs the the, the streets uh, in Houston, man. He uh, ABN is his gang, assholes by nature, and it has everybody, man, like Bloods, Crips, BDs, GDs. Of folks. Uh, oh wow! So they they really like a group. They group. They like everybody. They run Houston, man. All the gang. Yeah. Like I said, he's the only rapper that I know of, as of back then, at least, uh, who uh, has his own holiday. June twenty second is Trey Day, like official holiday. The mayor of Houston declared June twenty second the Trey Day. They make a festival. He does a lot of charity work. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, by the way, uh, I, I linked with him is uh, was through one of through Pyrex was one of Pyrex was one of the members of the squad, and also back then that's when I was just uh, moved to the states, and I somehow got linked. Uh, found the person who linked me with his older brother, King Dinky. King Dinky is his older brother who is like the OG in the streets. He's doing a double life sentence. He's been doing it for for a minute, and he was supposed to. Double life, dog. What, what does that, that even mean? That's insane. Saying that you do, they do that. It's he was crazy. Scooping, man, he was really running the streets. Woo. That's why he's doing what he's doing because Dinky used to ride me these long kites about uh, what's going on. How he, you know, teaching Trey how to keep his hands clean and do everything but it's, right. Uh, everything so, but it's peaceful over there, though, right? In Houston, it's peaceful. They, 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 they did the truth, right? No, there's this no, the truth. No, yeah, there's no set tripping, man. They say, okay, you rock your color, I wear my color because it's all about that change, it's all about that green and the end, man. And that's Ooh, why man. ABN is an example of that because it has Ooh. members of every gang. That's and love, man. That's no, seriously, that's love, man. Yeah. Seriously, that's love, man. You that's some I mean? shit, man. Like, fucking, that's why, uh, rest in peace, uh, Nipsey. That's why Trey and Nipsey, they were good friends, man. Damn, they probably put some stuff out too, I bet. Oh yeah, yeah you know that. I think they were planning on it, man. Too bad. Oh, it didn't happen, man. man. Just like just, Pim, like Pimp C, man. It went from free Pimp C to rest in peace, rest in peace, Pimp C, man. Because Pimp C too, yeah. yeah. We lost a lot of fallen rappers, but deuces. Just this too, not just in 2020, but you know, y'all already know 2020 sucks. Speaking of 2020, how are you guys doing with the coronavirus? How you, how's your family doing? How's everything going with all that? Oh, it's all good on my end. Like, luckily, thank God, like, you know, everything's been been good. But like, like you said, I just want to echo, like, you know, blessings and prayers to everybody that is dealing with that. Uh, Rest in peace, God the Godson. Ooh. Yeah, DJ Shea. DJ oh, Shea. Rest in, peace. Yeah. Rest in peace, DJ Shea. Rest in peace, Fred the Godson, man. He lost a lot of, lot of people, man, a lot of legends, man. Yeah, it's crazy, man, and like you never know where if it's gonna end, or when it's gonna end. I'm a, I'm a conspiracy theorist. I read a lot of books on like, yeah. uh, on like population control, fluoride, pineal gland, all that shit. You know, like so I try to educate myself and. I, yeah, I take it just as serious as you do. Like I, I'm like first, I'm I'm all about I'm gonna follow the rules. If they say wear a mask, wear the gloves, I'm gonna do it. But at the same time, I think I I I, I am too that. I'm not just gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna do everything you say. I gotta, I wanna know why, what's going on, what's behind yeah, it, course, what happened, right. what got created, why is it created, what was going on. If I, I think I do the same thing. My mind goes in like ten thousand ways when it's happening, and it's still going. Yeah, I actually read a lot of theories, man, in which they said that I don't know if you remember when they banned all the cards, that uh, yeah. a lot of people started dying from this from this weird uh, lung disease. From the cards supposedly well there are rumors and people that did some investigative journalism and they said that it was actually the early corona outbreak and it was actually corona people dying from and they don't know what to do and they want people to panic and they found the best uh, thing to do would be to blame it on the thc pods so they banned those while they were trying wow. to get things ready for corona luckily i know i was in russia at that time i was in moscow i went there in december How's Russia with the coronavirus? Uh, it was not bad, right? Not like USA, not like the United yeah, States, right? No, nobody's nobody's uh, as bad as in. As no one's. In, oh my god! Out there, out there, like they don't, uh, 
the borders stay open for too long, man. Yeah. And I would in Russia, man, like, uh, like before you even get over the plane on international flights, they get on the, they get on the planes and they uh, measure your temperature. Plus, they got the heat monitors on the all over the. Oh, so they, over they the, ain't playing. So they ain't playing. They ain't playing. KGB is the country and they used to be run by like KGB, man. So <laughs> they got it. They got this shit on lock, man. Gangsters, they, they, dog. Yo, they gangs. Put the temperature in right. They pull you off to the side, get you fucking quarantine real quick, man. <laughs> Yo, just to, just to bring back the mood, you know, you know cheerful, man, because I'm not a, you know, I'm more of a uh, um, pessimist than an optimist, right? That's it. So, um, what do you guys do for fun, man? What do y'all do for fun? What y'all be doing, man? But well, wives, girlfriends, y'all travel, y'all ski. What do y'all do, man? Give me something. <laughs> Besides producing, you know. Music for me, man. Music is everything, man. Just because, like I said, I go I spend all all days just digging through, uh, seeing what's out there, see what came out, and I, I collect different merch. I don't know if you see this, like my vinyl collection. I got show prize, ghosts, like figurines, CDs, cassette tapes, all the old school physicals, everything, hip hop collectible. Oh man. man. No, don't, so, hey, don't, hey, don't, yeah. don't tell me your address, man. This don't tell me your address. <laughs> <laughs> I'm licensed to carry too. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. What do you do for fun, uh, me folks? What's going on? What's up, Dustin? What do you do for fun up there? Oh man, man I get in all kinds of crazy shit. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I, I like to go. <laughs> I like to go hiking. Like you know, I go out on the water sometimes. Like you know. You know, I just I just take it easy and chill and relax. Like, you know, I do a lot of programming, so I work on like a lot of open source software. Um that's pretty much my hobby outside of music is is software. So Oh, okay. Uh, that's what's up. Like so when you say you was a nerd, I guess you're still a nerd, man. But you're a cool nerd though. You know, you're a cool nerd. I'm a, I'm a cool nerd, yeah. You're a cool nerd, sure. yeah. <laughs> Not like Avenger the Nerds, if I don't know if that's going over your head. I'm, no, I'm telling my no, age. No, I'm, no, I'm no. telling my age. I saw that movie. Of course, yeah. I've seen that. Oh, I'm about to say, man. I'm about to take your movie card from you, man. You got yeah, it. We both, we both 35. We look young, man. We okay, y'all just, oh, y'all look like y'all, hey, y'all look like you're, you're 19, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? And traumatic <laughs> look like he's freaking four. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, I'm much older than me, fucks, man. Is here, man? What's going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> the jeans, man. It's the Russian jeans, man. <laughs> Hey, what's you guys' uh, dream rappers, man? Y'all want, I know y'all working with a, some of the best already. Is there somebody y'all go, man, I need I need to work with blah, 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 or her or him or whoever. Any any dream rappers? Either or which one which wants to take the round? Uh, I think you should start, D, because, you know, my list is big, man, and I'm oh. trying to separate dream from plan, you know? Oh, see, got... see, yeah, don't, don't do the plan. <laughs> oh, you about to give me some, give me some juice. Give, what are you playing? <laughs> <laughs> start it off, me fuck. You said start it off. You wanna? Oh, like MCs I would like to work with. Yeah, in the future, like who's 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 like on? You got a list? Of, I don't know if you do that. Uh, you do that? Um, not really. No? Like I can't even think. I can't even think on the spot. Like if somebody that I can name that I was like, yeah, like this is. I mean, maybe maybe like Souls of Mischief like would be really cool to work with. Like I'm a big like Souls of Mischief fan and like I'm wow. a big like hieroglyphics fan. Um so like maybe like working with like Dell the Funky Homo Sapiens oh. would be like that would Ooh. be incredible. Like to make beats for him, like that would be yo. yo, throw that out in the atmosphere, man. Yo, put that yo. Yeah. That out there, Dell. If you listening, let's go. Anybody listening that know Dell the Funky Hope? Yo, that's one of my favorite rappers, though. Yeah, yeah. That, I, used to, I used to follow the Highland Griffin. Oh, man, come on, man. Dope, man. <laughs> they they had a big run back in the day. I mean, they still rapping and stuff, but they had a big run back in the day, man. They, there was yeah. no denying them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's still in my rotation, man. Yeah. Minutes, classic, dude. It's, I don't care what nobody's saying. Though. That, that's, yo, that, yo, it's tight. And um, for me, it's probably like Bun B. Yeah. Uh, there you go. V Vinny Paz, Apathy. Vinny Paz. Recognize Ali, Rome Ooh. Streets, Lord Juco, or the whole Big Turks. Uh, I want to work with Jamal Gasol. Uh, oh, yeah. Jam oh, Jamal Gasol is nice. I first be one of those. Nice. Rome Streets. I mean, I got a lot of artists. Asti Nack, but you know, Asti Nack, I like the Tragic Allies. Asti Nack a little better than uh, what he's uh, doing right now, even though his shit is still fire, but 
I like that when his shit was more over like a conscious hip hop rather than fly hip hop type of shit. Yeah. A lot of a lot a lot of artists, man. Like Ito, but we already work in uh Daniel Sun is another artist. From uh, Canada, right? Yeah. Yeah. A Sun Eastwood. I mean that's a, that's a lot of cats, man. My little Will Deluxe is another one that's very slept on. Uh Primo, man, gotta gotta be able to work with Primo, like Abbott. Oh. Um, but like that's a, I mean I have a long list, man. Like uh like if you if you ask me to name my top five or top ten, it will take me a minute, maybe just because I have so many playlists and so many, like all these uh like three hundred playlists that are eighty minute playlists, like all every track in there is a jam for me, you know what I mean? And it's a uh, so and also like the goldies and I have a lot of them, man. So like um, when it comes to music, it's versatile. But Bun B, J Dog from Houston. Or some of the artists I would work for. K Reno, even though I already worked for, for with them back when I was trying to rap back in Houston, but I rap in Russian, so I figured my, my shit wouldn't sell because nobody knows what I would be rapping about. <laughs> but uh Do it anyway, yeah. man. You should do it, man. Yeah, all kinds of shit, man. But yeah. Do a Russian I mean, rap album. I mean Yeah, what, yeah, I have I have some Russian legends who wanted to work with some uh, right. Western uh artists and we're gonna make it happen, man. Make it happen, man. I'm telling you, you know there's a lane for there's a lane for everything, man. Yes, sir. And if you might, you might blow it up. You might create it and make it bigger. You know what I'm saying? I know you ain't created because there's Russian rappers out there, but you probably uh-huh. gonna like, you know what I mean? You expand on it at least, you know what I mean? You know, I might, I might, I might get back into it myself, man. Just like, uh, okay. yeah, just like trying to switch up like some English with Russian. But see, the reason I don't rap in English is because I'm a perfectionist, man. And like, uh, oh. since my English is my second language, like, I don't think uh, vocabulary wise, like in Russian, I can do a lot. A lot better than I would in English. Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. Your cadence would be like more smoother in Russian than yeah, in, because, uh, even like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sounds, 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 sounds different when I when I speak Russian. My voice is a lot deeper. Okay. It's uh, it's it's, uh, yeah, it's it's different. Plus, uh, uh, just the uh, the whole the whole sound of it, man. And Russian like production is very slept on. Russian uh, hip hop sounds very different, man. It's more more lyrical. Yeah, in Russia. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like like in the in the language you're saying. Was that? In the language is more lyrical, or just mean well, like it's, language, it's lyrics is uh, it's more lyrics is in Russia. That's what you said. I'm talking about like just the the beats, the sound of the beats. They're very uh, like like not like emotional, but like you can you can they have soul. You know the the beats. Oh, okay. So, okay. Like, okay. When it comes to rhyming in Russian, the language is just so complex. Like we have a we have a a book a whole dictionary just for the cuss words you know what i mean like the, there's so many it's such a rich language and uh, the way it's structured like there are so many different rhyme schemes you can come up with in order to come up with a dope track yeah mm-hmm. well it's just just, just the topics man like people people in russia are on both spectrums and uh on both extremes man you see all kinds of shit in russia like dustin me, Fox, and I grew up there, man. Like, we've seen all kinds of shit in Russia, I mean, you know. So, like, when people... I be, I'm, I'm curious about... Yeah, everyone, everyone oh, in probably in America is curious about Russia. Like, this, I mean, that's not a lot of places that people go... Like, in America, they go, oh, I'm going on vacation, and you go, where? And people say Russia, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I don't even think... I mean, it's, it's just not happening, you know what I'm saying? So, but... Yeah, um, you, you, can, you can do it now. now you, can, you, can, like, you can vacation there, though, right? Yeah, you can because like that's a Sochi, like where the Olympic they had the summer Olympic games. Exactly. Yeah. They have, like the resorts, nice. Uh, like Russia has twelve time zones, I believe. You know, yeah. I mean, it's so huge. It has twelve time zones, so like we have a lot of different climates. Like I was born on Sakhalin Island over there by uh, like Kamchatka Islands. Okay. Where uh, it would just snow on the up to the second uh, floor, so yeah. there was no. Uh, in uh, Russia, right? Do you guys celebrate a lot of holidays? In Russia, we celebrate uh, New Year's as Christmas. Like you mean, like the like July? Well, um, that's, that's kind of the thirty first. Like for us, like uh, Christmas is on a different uh, on a different day. I forgot where is it because it's uh, like a religious holiday. But for uh, we celebrate New Year's like they celebrate Christmas out here. Like that's the when people go out and party and drink and drink champagne. And give presents. 
Like oh. on December twenty fifth is a, it's not a holiday in Russia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does. But some holidays, man. You celebrate a lot of holidays. Anyone, Family, whatever. Anyone that I can. <laughs> Why, because there's food involved? What's going on? Yeah, food, like, you know, atmosphere, drama, you know? <laughs> when, my, when my family gets together, there's always drama, so. Oh. Mine's too. Mine's it's too. Good, hey, listen. It's, it's good That's, drama, though. I like it. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's like, it, it's entertainment for me. Like, I, I go there, and I swear to God, I'm entertained. I'm like, so-and-so's what? And Keisha's what? And uh, what? Damn, is what? <laughs> get what? Well, get out of here. Who had a kid? No way! Like, you know, this it just it's like a movie or something, you know what I'm saying? I, I look forward to Thanksgiving too. I, I don't eat a lot of meat, um, but I still go there and I, you know, I, I'm picky at the food, but you know what I'm saying? But I go for the entertainment, man, and I go smoke with my cousins. <laughs> you guys smoke a lot? What's that? You vegan or vegetarian? Uh you just don't fuck with meat. I, I once in a while I might create once in a while I might create uh turkey bacon. <laughs> That's so weird. I might, it's a certain turkey bacon, it got to be maple, it's a certain one I see in the store, I go, oh, I got to get it. I go, you know, I'll go bananas, mm -hmm. I have a flashback. But everything else is like, uh, you know, if I if, if I had to go to Burger King, I'd get them possible burger. I do a lot of that type of meat, you know, plant-based meat and stuff like that. All That's that. what's up. Yeah, I'm, try, I'm, try, I'm trying to switch up to all that too, man. I, I try to get organic and just, uh, I don't, I don't, I try not to do fast food at all. I cook, I cook for myself and. That's what's up. That's what I do. Yeah, plus, like I said, I've lived in so many different countries, man. I crave that food, like the Korean food or Vietnamese food. So I just taught myself to make the real authentic food, not like the Americanized version where they just make it sweet or it really fatty. <laughs> we use, well, we use, yeah, we use too many seasonings. We use, you know what I mean? It's, it's processed food. It, it's terrible, man. It's like, what do you like to eat, Dustin? What's going on? What's the style? What's, what, you do, what you like to eat, man, at Thanksgiving, man, at the table or any, anywhere, anywhere? What's your favorite dish? I'm all about that turkey, man. Mm. It's mm. gotta be, you gotta have turkey. And like, and like, if you can deep fry it, like that's even Ooh. better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or turducken, man. Back in back in Houston, we used to get a turducken, man. That was that was my shit, man. What's the turducken? Explain that. Hold on. It's a, it's a turkey with the duck inside, with the chicken inside, stuffed with like a uh, jambalaya, like rice. Yeah, man. Y'all trying, trying to have a heart attack at, at know, 12 man. years old, dog. What? That's, 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 yeah, it comes from Louisiana, man. It's like, uh, it's I heard of that bro. before. I just, I just was like, I just kind of like lost. I'm like, I know it's something with something stuffed in it or something, but I just didn't know yeah, what the combination was. I'm like, three birds, man, all in one. <laughs> and do y'all fry it or y'all kind of bake yeah, it? Like, you, what do you, you deep fry it pretty much. You can bake it, but you, the best way is to deep fry it in like one of those turkey fryers and just slice it up and eat it. Remember this? Oh. Just banging, man. One of my favorite meals to the day, man. Yeah, that sounds ridiculous, Dunkle, dude. man. Just uh, or like uh, Timmy Chan's man was the spot in uh, Houston, man. Like Frenchie's notorious for like fried chicken and and rice. They had the best wings, and it's all, it's the Asian guys that rent it, but they had the best fucking like, chicken wings, man. Like in these spots in Boston, y'all go to a lot around like Dorchester, Mattapan, Roxbury, anywhere, Quincy, wherever you, wherever you guys roll around. Uh. Out Any here, spots? that's a Iclis or Piclis is a is a place, and I Iris Iri is the joint. So out here, I like Jamaican food a lot. Like a jerk jerk chicken is my stuff. Oh, you know, I get a lot jerk of jerk best, chicken. Yeah. And, and actually, I live up right outside a joint called the Porch, which is like southern southern food. So they got the collard greens, they got mm -hmm. their real cornbread, some ribs. Like I don't, I don't really eat a lot of pork, but when I when I do like it's probably it's usually some barbecue. Like if it's some good smoked ribs or some mm. shit, I'll get down on that. Man. You're, making me, you're making me miss meat. You're making me miss meat. Man. You're, you're making it sound so descriptive. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to have me it's like. Man. But yeah, I try to eat healthy myself, man. And uh, I try not to drink much anymore. Like, um, yeah. I'm trying did you guys to did you guys drink a lot when y'all were younger though? When you were younger, did you like oh, yeah. drink 40 yeah. ounces and like, you know, what, yeah, we, we, a lot we, of weed? Yeah. We grew up in Moscow, man. We drank. We literally started off our night every Friday with a drink that was under so sold on the counter at TJ at the local TJ Fridays. Yeah, called death. So it was a half a liter of a black liquid. It was fourteen different liquors in it. It was forty percent absinthe, 
then Everclear, vodka, tequila. Oh! Uh, some nails, some nails, a few liqueurs, and I can. Yo, what are you trying to What? A little bit of beer, but it was 11, I mean, 14 different drinks, and it was, you had to literally chug it. And after we would chug one of those, we would go across the streets, uh, through the underpass, and that was this international bar owned by some wait, of wait, 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 wait. The pool there. Is that like a 12 ounce? What, 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 how much fluid is that, all that mix? It's like a, it's like a half, half, a, half, a, half a liter. Like one of those big plastic cups you get at the fast food joints. Yeah. Yeah, but what? Like straight liquor, yeah. So we and y'all would go do something after that? Y'all want to yeah. just fall yeah. out? <laughs> yeah, we had, we had tolerance. That was the night starter for us. And then we, we would be the place next uh, across the street to play some pool while we still can see, you know? Before the visual vision <laughs> so something. See, <laughs> and then uh, we were off to Yo. the club. But see, Russian moving around in Russia was it, so it was all hitchhiking. Then you just take your hand out to catch random taxi. That's oh how my like, goodness, man. Russian man with a taxi. Yo, I think I can talk about Russia all day, man. Yo, but what's next for you guys, man? What's next on the on the plate? What's next on the platter? What's next on? What are you guys working on? Can y'all? Can, I know everything in the secret. It gotta be something y'all can leak out. You know what I'm saying? You want to start? I don't. Yeah, I don't. Sorry about that. Like the next thing for me is a project called Ducklings that was actually inspired by your reviews of Pray for the Evil. So I'm going to re release uh, both instrumentals. Um, yeah, I'm going to release the instrumentals for both albums uh, called Ducklings. So why is it called Ducklings? Like, what's what's going on with the ducks, man? <laughs> oh. He got his uh, hands up. <laughs> you got a duck story? Ducklings. What does that mean? Ducks are just my favorite animal. There you go. <laughs> oh, okay. It's true, man. It's, it's, it's not even bullshit. I know, I've known that for 20 years, man. It's, funny. it's a weird thing to know about your friend, but I know that. <laughs> I've never, like, touched a duck. Like, what's, what's good? What's, what's, like, so great about ducks? Is this, like, a history? What they do? They, how they take care of their families? What, what is it? They're just funny to me. Oh, okay. What did you say last time? The quack and shit? Yeah, like quack and shit. Like, Have you ever, like, petted one, touch one? Like, grab, like had it, pick one up? Nah, never. <laughs> I didn't even, you know I mean? I didn't even pet one, touch one, dude. You got to touch a duck, man. Hey, man, what, what, if, what if someone, what if I was like, my favorite animal is a lion? Like, I'm not touching a lion. Yeah, but you there's some tame, there's some tame ones, man. And you can go pet one. <laughs> yeah, you know. Let's just tell this guy, Tro, you, you can you know you can pet a lion if you you know if they you know that right? Y'all know I've, that right? I've been to Bangkok. I have pet a tiger tigers and shit. I got some pictures. See? See? Yeah. Never say never, baby. <laughs> so what are you working on, Tro? What's going on? Y'all gotta come on. What's going? What are y'all working on, man? What's uh, next? What's next? Right now, uh, I just got the, got a track uh, back from uh, Ito, and then uh, Ito and Flea okay. with, uh, with the traumatic comp compilation album which I started telling you about. And then uh, I'm waiting for Khan to finish Organized Grind 2. So, so that's coming next. And I'm waiting for the Trillion to uh, finish mixing and mastering the Rusty Jukes joint. So like those are the three main ones for me. Is the Rusty Jukes the most dominant executive produced by me with Khan, with verse from Conway and then all the What do you expect that? Uh, hopefully within a month, the vinyl pre-orders will be available. Mm -hmm. I have to locate a lot of stems. I know Vic Spencer is on a couple of tracks. He's going to be in the lab tomorrow. He's going to send me the one acapella I'm missing uh, for it to be finished. And then I need a few more tracks for the Trillmatic, the Trillist In It compilation album. Mm -hmm. And then Khan should be ready with organized uh, grind too, just in a few days and, uh, as far as the guests, I got uh, West Side Gun, Benny, and Flea on there so far. I don't think I just leave it at that, man. This dude said so far, like that ain't nothing. Like, dude, that's like well, the, I mean, the three of the hottest rappers right now. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm just. Uh, like, like, like it's nothing. He's like, oh, just, uh, you know, Benny. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, what? Like, like, what the <laughs> No, I mean, uh, Conway is very specific about who he works with. Like, I know. You know I, yeah, he, I can tell he's picky. Yeah. Either him or it's just like he's, he usually fucks with just El Camino, Benny, and Flea. Well, 
Does he? Has he ever? He, he don't mess with. He don't mess with um thirty eight special. I thought he. I thought he was cool with him. I don't know. I don't think they even have that many tracks together. It's that's mostly Benny and Benny and 38. Oh, it's Benny and 38. Oh, so they developed a friendship. Yeah, for for Khan, uh, his inner circle, I think it's uh, it's Flea, Benny, and El Camino. El Camino, yeah. yeah. And El Camino's like reason he's not what I guess reason I know the reason why he wasn't touring, but I was wondering like well prior to because he just had some and you know R.I.P. to his, he lost his sister recently, right? So R.I.P. to uh, El Camino's sister. Yeah. Um, but before that tragedy, I know I was wondering why he didn't put out a lot of music. Do you guys know about that, or he was just working on a lot of music and didn't put it out? Uh, well, I think he did put out quite a quite a few projects, man. Like he, he did one with Spesh, he did one. Uh... But this year, you mean a project or a single? I heard the single Avenue, the Avenue. Yeah, uh, Marker, uh, Marker uh, Music, or what was that called? And then he did another one. Uh. There's definitely a, a couple of them. And then he did uh, El Camino 2, the album, Self Title 2. Okay. And he dropped on Air Vinyls. But I think Marjorie Music was the last one. And he also did some, some with uh, Frank's Vinyl, I believe. But that was a, a smaller project. And he did some with, with Bozak Morris also. So he, oh, okay. he, yes, yes, he did. So like like a lot of singles, but these are like all oh, these are albums and projects that's out in two thousand. No, they're all they're all EPs or 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 like full blown albums, all of them. Yeah, they're just not, they're on different platforms on different record labels. I probably yeah, I've been I've been seeing them hearing it. Oh, where you go? I was asking him a question. You just did he, are you still there, Dustin? Oh no, he just he just took. Oh, I'm like oh shoot, I was gonna have to ask him a question. He just blanked. I'm just uh, I saw this me. I'm like what is that? <laughs> it looks like him too a little bit. So um I was gonna ask him who like because he's you know. Who's he producing? Is he producing like whole albums still or what? Do you know if he's producing? Um, oh, there you go. Dustin, are you, are you producing whole, entirely whole albums or, or or do you just like once in a while you give somebody a single or you got to give somebody at least two or three tracks usually? Like, how's that work? Do you have a certain amount of songs you give out or? I give out like beats to some rappers. Like, some rappers, like, I've given a chance and like, you know, giving them some beats. Um, I usually don't do like full projects like with them. Uh, the only people I've really done like full length albums with has been Flea um, and Genya, uh Trill uh, with Organized Crime. Genya is my Russian name just so you don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep wondering why he keeps saying that Genya is my Russian name, Trill is my... Uh... Yeah, I'm just I'm listening going, it gotta be him. It must be talking about the same person. It gotta be Trill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, that's him, right? So what about so have you worked with any um Dustin, have you worked with any um Boston MCs, anybody from Boston? We can close that out with Boston. You know I gotta represent Bean Town before I leave, man. Yeah, oh. yeah, of course, of course. Um so yeah, I've worked with a rapper named Rex, um, uh, who's from Lawrence, I think, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, so he he's from there. And uh I've done a few tracks with him, but I produced a few joints for him. One on his latest album that dropped on September eleventh called The Hunger Inside That Never Gets Satisfied. Um uh, things. Actually yeah, I don't things. Know yeah. about that. delivered on me. He better didn't make the vinyl, but uh it was too long. And that was the last track. I guess I had to cut a track, so yeah. the vinyl, but it is on the CDs in digital format. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got a couple of Boston rappers that uh, I probably want to introduce you to. Maybe you can slide them some beats. Y'all can work together. I got uh, my cousin Taj Malik. He's a yeah. dope rapper. I did a couple of reviews with him. Y'all got to check out his music. I definitely heard his name. And then there's another guy named uh, Marquis Filthy. He got my name, but it's, it, it's Filthy at the end. Marquis Filthy. He's dope, too, from Boston. I did, I think I did his last review, too, um, for his album. It's dope, too, man. Y'all got to check for those MCs out, man. Now, maybe I can connect y'all. I don't know. How's that work? But is, the, is that... Can I do that? Can I say yeah, if you guys want to work with yeah, producers? Yeah. This is me, fucks from blah blah blah. Or? Yeah. I got a, I got an unre unreleased verse from Ed O G for the traumatic anthem that I'm gonna use for the traumatic for the compilation album. So I've been with Ed O G a little bit, yeah. Ed O G, dog. Ed O G, come on, dog. Ed yo, that dude. Yo, I ain't really growing, growing, but I pretty much grew him. Like he was lived on humble, and I knew, yeah. I knew, I used to run with a couple dudes on humble. And I used to see them, but I was like, yeah, they were like, oh, that's that old I'm like, all right, whatever. Like, we was already doing our little gang stuff, you know what I'm saying? We didn't care about it. But we was listening to his music. I'm a big fan. Yeah, um, Ed O.G., just as, 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 as Ed O.G. and that Master Ace album, woo, that was tough. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tough. 
Yeah, and then Term, worked with Term for the compilation album, Rad, kind of, yep. Then uh, I'm also uh, trying to build with a Primo Profit. He's a local cat. And then uh, the final two are from Lynn. It's S.T. Knack and El Divino. But like I said, I kind of like the tragic allies, El Divino. I don't know. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm see where they go with their music. Uh, okay. And see if they kind of fit the format of what, we, what, what we're doing because they're kind of uh, trying to build their own lane from what I see. And I'm going to see if that works. Hey, man. Listen, man. Anything else y'all want to say to the people, man? Let's We can wrap this up. If any, I, I want to know. I want to get it. I want to squeeze y'all like. Um, you know, like, uh, like, 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 what's the name? Like, El, nah, I was gonna say El Camino, he does it too. But like, Flea Lords, you know, squeezes those beats, squeezes those me fucks beats, man. I want to squeeze all the energy out of y'all, all that conversation, all the, you know what I mean, <laughs> secrets. But what can you get? What's the last yeah. word? What can y'all tell us, man? Come on, give me something, man. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Do it for Bean Town, baby. <laughs> I can tell you that. So Flea and I started a, a record label called Lord Mob. Um, and that record oh. label is going to be signing some pretty big artists like coming up here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Um, so <laughs> Flea, Flea's part of Lord Mob, um, you know, and Lord Mob, he's a, an owner of Lord Mob. Um, and we're basically G4 Jag is signed to Lord Mob for sure. Um, and then there's two other people that are getting signed to Lord Mob. Uh, that I can't really say right now, but like they're gonna be, they're gonna be surprising. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they're, they're big names, man. They're, 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 <laughs> you see me trying to get it out. You my my superpower. I'm trying to get it out of y'all. Hold on, I'm gonna stay at y'all for a little bit. I'm gonna get the information out of y'all, yo. <laughs> it's coming, man. It's, it's, it's probably gonna be announced sooner than you think, man. And it's gonna be. You're not gonna want it, man. Now you got me, yeah. You, know, you gotta have me on. You gotta have me like on all the platforms like this. TV on. This is on. I'm gonna have like computer <laughs> on like this. Every every Thursday at twelve, I'm be like doing everything at the same time, going crazy. But you gotta be going nuts, man. No, yeah, I appreciate yeah. this, man. Yeah, we got a lot of people, man. Too. Blessing, man. I got yo. I can talk to you for days, man. I, I know I got some more Russian questions, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, I'm yo. sure. I'm sure we'll do it again, man. Well, I'll, I'll be here for you, man, anytime. We're here for you, man, and I always got something in the works, man, so. Oh. That's, not, that's Listen. Feel free to reach out anytime, bro. That's all I want to hear. Like, you guys, uh, listen, I'm passionate at hip-hop, listening to hip-hop, just, you know, just viewing it and just doing, and being in my lane, you know what I'm saying, doing the reviews, and I can tell you guys are passionate about what you guys do, and this is why I love hip-hop, man. Yeah, yeah. Anybody can do hip-hop. Yeah. And I don't care if you're a goddamn snail and you got a mic, man. I'm telling if you're passionate about something and you guys are like, I got that energy and that drive, I, man, that spirit, man. I'm drawn to you like a magnet, man. Both of y'all, man. This is crazy. Keep doing what you're Appreciate doing. What's up that, with you, um, yeah. me folks? You got, what else? You got, you got something else? What else you got, man? Anything else? Nothing else, man. Nothing else. That's, that's it from me folks. <laughs> I squeeze them too tight, man. I, I squeeze them like a teddy bear. I got, I got all the juice out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, man, this is Marky Walker, man, from Queens, from Boston, Bean Town, you know what I'm saying? That's how I represent, you know what I'm saying? And we, yo, we did it again. It's my first interview, and I really appreciate it. Phil, Phil Matic, I really appreciate it. Thanks, for having me. And Dustin, they gave me fucks. I really appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you, man. Love it. Salute, man. All right, salute, man. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Bean Town. Houston. <laughs> <laughs>